Yo, 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 this is Mike back with another video. And uh, the last few pair of cheap Bluetooth headphones that I've had haven't been that great. But when you keep trying, you just keep trying. And I think I stumbled on another pair of pretty solid headphones for the price. And these are the headphones right here. Of course, I have the link in the description and everything. But um, I saw these and I wanted a pair of white headphones because I got black, I got red, I got, you know, um, black and gold. You know, I got um, some other colors, a black, uh, silver and black. So I wanted a pair of white headphones. And uh, I wanted a pair of all white headphones, but these... You know, got the silver right here, and they look fine. But, um, you know, as with any Bluetooth headphones, you got your controls right here. You know, the for the 3.5 headphone jack, these charge with a micro USB. You got your microphones, and it has an SD card slot. If you got music, you can just pop in the SD card and listen to your music from, like, from there. These headphones sort of resemble those Sony headphones that I saw a lot of people with probably back in 20, I want to say 2014, 2015, 2013, around that time. A lot of people was getting those Sony headphones from Best Buy. They wasn't Bluetooth. They were the one with the wires. Matter of fact, I got a picture of them right here. Um, these right here this is courtesy of a uh, Amazon but remember these right here yeah remember these right here these Sony headphones I think there was the MD you know uh, these joints right here extra bass These right, these ones right here, the MDRZX. You know what I'm saying? The, of course, these are the wired ones right here, but these headphones kind of resemble those. <laughs> they have that same type of look to them. The only difference is like if if you used to put Sony across of them right here, you would think they were those same MDX joints. But I remember seeing a lot of people with those wired uh on ear headphones back in like 2014 2015 you know what I'm saying around that time these joints have a lot of bass in them i was surprised how much bass now when i bought these there wasn't no review for any of them so i don't know if anybody had bought these yet but normally when you buy something and you see the little stars right there and say how many people has ordered these Nobody had ordered these. It was like no stars. It was no, you know what I'm saying? So maybe I think I might be the first person to order these. But on a scale of 1 to 10 as far as like sound, these are very bass heavy. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Once again, I was pumping my man Devin the Dude. You know, I was rocking some, uh, you know, some other music. And the bass, these joints have mad bass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they, they're loud too. Um, these have so much bass that you can kind of hear the thumping in your ear, like the you know what I'm saying, the, the vibration in your ear. And uh, because of that, I don't really I don't listen to these all the way up. They got to be like sort of halfway. Halfway is good enough because these joints, you know, the bass, you know. These joints have pounding, pounding bass in them. As far as like sound and like hearing all the instruments, the bass obviously bullies the rest of the sound in songs. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, these are extremely bass heavy. The bass does kind of like grounds out some of the other instruments, but you can hear them. But these joints are just extremely bass heavy. And that's why I said they remind me of those Sony headphones. Because I remember 
knowing somebody who had a pair of those and those was had like mad bass in them like thumping bass you know so if if you're a bass head then yeah these are these will pretty much suit you good especially for the price i mean they only 19 dollars. <laughs> you know what i'm saying 19 dollars for as much bass that you're getting because i mean compare these to those um uh uh those last pair of head headphones I, I I ordered or I reviewed the uh, the P fours, the what was it the I can't remember the name of them things the lit the Litscombs or something like that P fours, Letscoms, P fours or something like that. Those joints were straight up trash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I told you they were just straight up trash. They wasn't very loud. The bass wasn't there. You know they was just like some below average headphones. You know what I'm saying? Which is kind of messed up because those joints actually look kind of nice, you know what I'm saying? Sort of, you know what I'm saying? But, and then the other ones, the ones with the weird name with the J, I can't even pronounce what the heck those were. Those ones, like once you turned them up, those kind of like distorted. It sounded like you was listening to something through like a tin can or something like that almost. But they did get loud though. But these are just extremely. They're loud. They're extremely bass heavy. You know, I'm quite sure if you, if, if you listen to like classical music or something like these, you'll be able to hear the piano and, the, you know, the violin and stuff like that. But if you rocking like some hip hop or something or R&B, you know, rap or something or like some rock and roll that has like, you know, the drums and the bass in the background, you, these right here, straight up crank. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh. <clears throat> I put the links in the description. It's not too much to tell about these. I mean, I do like the look of them, but like I said, they they resemble those Sony headphones. I mean, they do fold. Hold on, let me let me. I mean, they do fold, so you can fold them. They came in a box. You know, I don't really do unboxings like that, but they came in a box, so these didn't come with a carrying pouch like a lot of headphones would normally come with a carrying pouch. These didn't come with one of those. Only thing that came in the box was the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the charging cord. You know what I'm saying? But they do fold. You know what I'm saying? Like this. And, uh, you know, you got your typical buttons. Pretty much all of these joints got, you know, your pause and play, your fast forward. You can control the volume. You can, to make, you can make calls, take calls and stuff like that. You know. Um... Oh, and I think uh, this also has a FM radio on here. I think it's this button right here, this M button, because I pushed one of these but these buttons and it started like hearing the static and stuff like it's and it was searching for radio stations. So, I mean, for nineteen dollars, you're getting heavy bass, you're getting a loud pair of headphones, you're getting the micro the micro SD card feature. You know what I'm saying? Where if you got all your music on a micro SD card, you can just put it in here and listen to that. You got a FM radio. You know what I'm saying? All for nineteen dollars, and they have other colors too. They got like uh, black and gold color, um, black and red, black and blue, black and silver. They got all black. You know what I'm saying? So like these are white and silver right here. So if you get an all black. You know, these parts would be all black right here, and this part would be red. And then I think this little cushion part right here would be red. You know what I'm saying? So they got a, a wide variety of colors. And uh, I actually do recommend these, you know. Um, I'm not an audiophile, so I'm not going to pretend to be one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But these joints got mad bass. They're loud. And uh, for $19, uh... I say these are a pretty good deal. Are they better than the uh, the Robotech Novas? No. Are they better than the uh, Impal H7s? No, but they're not too far off from the HPAL M7s. Um, so for 19 bucks, I say grab these. You know what I'm saying? Um, in my quest to find good cheap headphones. <laughs> you know, I think I 
you know, hit another home run with these. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I recommend these. Check these out. Nineteen dollars. You know, that's nothing. Uh, these are some solid pair of headphones. But just remember, I mean, these joints are these joints are loud, and they got they got mad bass. So uh, be warned, because uh, I think these were turned all the way up when I first got them and connected them to my Bluetooth, and I wasn't expecting the loudness or the bass. I was honestly, I was expecting to be the I was expecting for these to be similar to those. Uh, P4s that I reviewed, you know, not very loud, hardly no bass. And when the joints cut on, it surprised the heck out of me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had to turn the joint down like real quick. I was like, man. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, check these out, man. I'm Mike, and I'm out.